fellow members, Diane here. Um, another video on primarily pressing mugs, but I have some placemats to press as well, trying out one of my new designs. So I thought I would go a few, go over a few things with you, and I hope you find this interesting. Um, right, mugs. People ask all the time, how do you set up a template? What size? How do you do this and how do you do that? Well, it is really self-explanatory. Your mugs, I use 10 ounce Orca white finish mugs, um, available absolutely anywhere. I only get the 10 ounce ones and not the 11 ounce ones because packing these and sending them off is an absolute nightmare. They come in a plain white box with a plastic bag over them like this now you can't post like that uk post is 325 small parcel if that arrives broke your customer is going to put in a claim for the whole amount not just the post so you know it's pointless i've tried everything over the years i've tried bubble wrapping cardboard inside cardboard outside bubble wrapping lots of parcel tape and it's just pointless you just waste your money if you're going to sell good quality mugs you need to pack appropriately now what we use are mug wraps polystyrene anti-shock mug wraps available on amazon or ebay in a box of a hundred now i get through about five boxes of these a year maybe more um, and they work out between 30 and 40p each. Now, considering what you're going to spend on bubble wrap and cardboard, whatever for these, that I don't think there's a better option. They double to fit money boxes. The standard, excuse me, the standard size money boxes fit in their retreat. You can, you know, they go through the Royal Mail system being thrown and knocked about. And I've, since I've been using these past two years, I've not had one come back broken. So they really are a good investment. And all we do is parcel tape one way and the other way and then you'll label them. So please take notice. If you want good results and good feedback, use your proper mailers. Right, as for a template, I suggest you measure your mug. And um, that is nine and a half centimetres or 950 mils. So you want to draw your box on whatever software you've got and print out that height or actually a little bit lower if it's not a complete mug wrap. And then with another tape measure, measure round the circumference. I mean, it is as simple as that. Make your own templates, nine inches. So that is all you require. Now, I've printed out one of my designs. It is a very, very popular design, so it won't go to waste. This is not personalised, but, you know, you can if you want. Line it up, one simple piece of heat-resistant tape. Line it up all the way around. And tape again. That is it. Oops, I went a bit screw with. Now, another question people say to me, their press, they get blowout. Blowout is the gas when it go, changes to vapour and comes off the paper into the, um, the product, this uh, poly coating. When you take your paper off, you can end up with lines along here, along here, um, anywhere really. It's called blowout and it's, it's just what it is basically. It's an overspill, like when you're using um an air spray paint gun you spray over a stencil take the stencil off on the wall you might have your beautiful stencil but you'll probably find if unless you've covered the area of paper you've got bits of spray everywhere it's identical but we do this this is your butcher's paper or copy paper or scrap paper tape it over the very same way now, into your press. My press is a Galaxy Dino press. Absolutely brilliant. Never had a problem with cold spots on this. Line it up. My resting temperature is 160. Now, my cooking temperature is 190. 
Now that is heating. The temperature drops considerably. This is what I'm saying. People are complaining or saying to me they don't get a full coverage. If you start your timer from when you put that in there, you're putting a cold substrate into your press. So it might have reached temperature, but the temperature as soon as you put a cold substrate in there is going to drop further and further. Do not start your cooking time until your press is back up to the correct time and then put your timer on. I cook mine for 180 seconds at 190 centigrade. Now you can see here, it's dropped right down to 146. Oops. Now it's going back up. It's heating. So when that gets to 190, the temperature, the, uh, bleh, the timer will start and then we'll take it out and you have a perfect mug. So why that's cooking? We will go over and do my placemat. Now, my paper is True Picks. I told someone the other day it is True Text. It's wrong. It's True Picks. It's recommended for sawgrass printers, and it's expensive. But I think that's about twelve pound, so that works out twelve p a sheet. And the bigger one, the A3, is about twenty two pounds, so it works out twenty two p a sheet. You know, make use of it. Don't just put one transfer on and print it out. Put three or four things on it, especially on the A3 size. Use it up. Don't waste your paper. I'm a great believer in, I've said this over and over again, if you're going to pay out money for decent equipment, you need decent ink and decent paper. I don't substitute it with cheap crap. I'm, I'm sorry I say it how it is. If you want to produce inferior products, use cheap crap. I like to produce beautiful stuff, so we get good stuff. Right, Unisub placemat. Lovely video on these already. Just thought I'd try out one of my new designs that I put on last night. Face down, half a centimetre clearance all round so that you can wrap, as I do, line it up. This one's got a name on because I'm making it for my niece for her birthday. Now, while I'm doing this, you can see the mug heat is going up. It is still rising. So until that's ready, that timer won't go off. Right, that's one. Nine centimetre centim by nine centimetre coasters are oh, Unisub. Another brilliant substrate company available all over the world because they're produced in the USA white gloss raw backed coasters nine centimeters by nine centimeters so again line up I might not get much of a border appeal on the coaster because I printed it a little bit big these take 180 seconds at firm pressure, 190. So while that's going, we'll just put these under the press as well. Face up, face up. Lower paper. Countdown. Back over to the press. So you can see the temperature. 188, two more degrees to go, and then the timer will cut in. I've had many a cheap press and you get cold spots. Um, the print doesn't come out from edge to edge. It's worth investing in a decent one. Now you can see 190, the timer's kicked in. At the end of this, we should have a perfect mug. Chances are they're both going to cook at the same time. Find my heat gloves. I don't know if you can see, these are just what I got off of eBay. They're just heat conductor gloves. They're so good. Brilliant for the glass cutting boards and the hot 
placemats and things like that not so much for the mugs because you can't get through them but really good I think the placemat's going to be done before the mug but doing it this way making sure as your temperature drops anything you put in there um, the money boxes especially as well as the mugs the temperature will drop significantly I mean even 25 degrees so if you've got your timer on before the temperature has come up you're going to get a substandard transfer come out it's not going to be clear it's going to be um, blotchy um, and you're just going to waste your substrate I mean mugs are the cheapest one to work with I think they retail at about 85p each something like that the markup is two three four five pound the post is 325 at the moment first class so you you know you can make money on them but the competition is great with mugs so people sell them for about 7.99 8.99 at the most just comment under the video if you find it helpful if you want any other substrates demonstrated or you know in, in general whatever i can help you with i'll try I'm, i don't claim to be an expert like i say i'm not one of these professional youtubers that think they know everything because i don't i'm just trying to pass on some of my knowledge that i've picked up over the past few years when i've done my research and trial and error wasted so many substrates so that you can benefit from my experience right that's this one so we'll get this done first you can see. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow this is the first time this design has been pressed so i always try and find a way when i put a design on sale to try it out before i sell it but i actually look at that isn't it lovely what little girl wouldn't like that really nice finish so that's that and the mug is about to finish go turn them both off right remember blow out paper off this will save you an awful lot of wastage now How nice is that? Home is where you park it. Matches the chopping board. You can buy this design on my Etsy shop as a chopping board. But this one can actually go on a t-shirt, a mug, money box, whatever. But I think you'll agree. Really, really nice. But one more thing to press. I wondered whether you'd like to see... A UK kitchen towel being pressed. Let me just make sure you can see what I'm doing. Yes. Right. One of my lovely designs that people are going mad for is the placemat design. I've. It should normally go on something that size or bigger, but I've shrunk it because my daughter wanted some serviettes made for Christmas. Well, I haven't got any serviettes, so got the matching serving cloths these are manufactured as tea towels they are really heavy and thick so yeah they are tea towels but i like to call them serving cloths because it's always I have something nice at the table to serve with so to get the middle fold 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 quick press to get your creases Blow out paper every time. Can't stress that enough. Right, so to get your lines, and it would help if I turn the press back on. To get your creases so that you can line up your transfer. Top and bottom on the right side face down fold your transfer in half gently pinch half inch from the top half inch from the bottom i'd take this i wouldn't normally but 
I didn't want it to shift because I'm doing the top and the bottom. Turn it round. We'll do it the other side. I don't think I'm going to get this on the press in one. Top and bottom. I've just realised I'm going to have to cut that short because I've made a mistake. I've printed the transfer the wrong side. Costly mistake. Always check. If you can see the writing, you know it's wrong. It should be mirrored. So I'm going to end that there and print them out again and we'll do that one another time. Hope you found these videos interesting. Please leave us a comment. Bye.